tell me how it feels to be here on the um, opening of the equestrian uh, side of Stain City. It must be so incredible to see all these people here enjoying it. I think it is just extraordinary. You know, this was my husband's dream and it's materialized today. And today is my first visit here. So I'm so proud and overwhelmed by my, my husband's dream. Your first visit? My first visit. I've been a bit busy with blankets, making blankets for 67 blankets for Nelson Mandela Day. Now, 67 blankets has had huge success. I understand you broke a record. Yes, we did. We smashed the Guinness Book of Records at the Union Buildings on April 21, marking 21 years of our democracy. And I'm wondering where your blanket is. We're going to talk. We're going to talk after this. Pledge, darling. Pledge. <laughs> I pledge. <laughs> I pledge. <laughs> Now, tell me about 67 Blankets. Why did, why did you decide to do it? How did it come about? It was a challenge by Zelda Lachrancy, mm -hmm. Mandela's assistant, to, to, for me to make 67 Blankets by Mandela Day last year. And I don't have 67 friends, so I put it on Facebook. And it's become a global movement. And um, we've now launched into every single correctional center in South Africa, 243 prisons and we're rolling out um, nationally and it's just extraordinary the power of Madiba, the name Nelson Mandela and social media. It's crazy, hey? Now tell us about how it works for our audience who doesn't really know how 67 Blankets work. They know that you've broken a record, they know you've done incredible things, but how does it work? Join Facebook, 67 Blankets for Nelson Mandela Day, South Africa if you're here, um, and start knitting. It is the knitting revolution for Nelson Mandela. And it's, it's you know, it, one journalist spoke about the fact that 67 Blankets is an, an initiative that is binding together our nation in a way no government has been able to achieve. And I see people from all walks of life, all religions, all races, all socioeconomic backgrounds coming together through bright, colorful thread, knitting our nation together. And it's so powerful. And that's what drives me each and every day. Now, what happens to the blankets once, once they're made? We distribute them around the country. Um, to old aged homes, orphanages, uh, shacks in Dipslurt, I mean the most, the most poverty stricken areas I've ever come across in my life. Tell me about the joy on the faces of the people who not only receive the blankets but who make the blankets for, for such an amazing cause. It's quite extraordinary. The love that has been spread with 67 blankets, the people who receive the blankets Who've never, ha who've never had a blanket. You take a blanket so for granted, you've got a blanket, right? There are people out there that don't have blankets. And the people that make the blankets, how they come together and, and forge new friendships, new relationships. And we, I invite people to come to the blanket distributions and it's, it's just a warm, fuzzy, beautiful feeling. Now, speaking of Nelson Mandela, he visited this very place that we're standing at today. Is that true? He did, yes. In actual f fact, he planted the first seeds. And we've got our Mandela Park, and uh, Grasa Michelle was with us some months ago to plant the first tree. And it was a very, very moving, moving moment. He would have been so incredibly proud of you. What was it like to have Grasa Michelle here um, planting the first tree and remembering Madiba uh, with you? It was quite beautiful. Um, she spoke about the fact that statues are being built, and that's wonderful. But a tree, people can sit under a tree, children can gather, they can play around, we can picnic under a tree. And those trees in Mandela Park are going to be, live with us forever. And people will forge memories there and live beautiful, beautiful dreams in the name of Nelson Mandela. It was such a pleasure chatting to you. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you so much.